Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to go over what you need to control hardware synths with your iPad. I've done a few videos on this in the past. My setup has since evolved. I've got new things. I very much used the iPad like a groove box as the centerpiece of my studio. And with this specific iPad, I only really need MIDI going in, MIDI going out. This is a first generation iPad Pro, so it has audio out on the side, so I can listen to audio directly in that manner. If you have a newer iPad Pro, as you know, they took out the audio jack. You're probably gonna want to consider something more advanced, something that has a headphone jack and all your audio inputs in there too to cover all your bases. If you're running an older iPad Pro and you want inputs into your iPad, including audio inputs, then you're gonna to wanna to think about something bigger like an actual audio interface. If you go the audio interface route, you must get something class compliant and definitely get something that has its own power supply and plugs into the wall. You do not want something that's gonna power off the iPad. Like I stated, you have an older iPad Pro and you just need like MIDI in. You can get something simple like the iRig MIDI that you see here in this video. Whether or not you need an audio interface or something simple like an iRig MIDI is really highly dependent on the iPad you get and what you need from it. And the next thing I'd really recommend is that white dongle. It's a USB lightning dongle, allowing you to send USB into the iPad and power it up at the same time. So when you're in the studio, you don't have to worry about the battery and the time length of that situation. So during studio time, I always have my iPad actually plugged in, so I just never have to worry about it dying. If you went the audio interface route, you'd you send your audio interface USB into your iPad, and that would handle audio and MIDI. With my current setup, I have a MIDI controller that goes into the MIDI in for my iPad, and then I send MIDI out to my hardware via the iRig MIDI. Then if you get a MIDI splitter, you can split your MIDI to as many gear pieces as you want between that splitter and MIDI through. You have a lot of options. So that is really all the pieces you need to get started with iPad MIDI. Now, when it comes to the software itself, it 100% comes down to you in your preference. There's tons of things out there you can use to control your um, hardware synths and create songs in the iPad universe. My personal favorite is obviously Core Gadget. Core Gadget has been the heart of my workflow for over a year now, it's oh, now two years. After you have the wires in place, that's really everything you need to start creating music with your hardware and your iPad all together. I hope this helps guys, and as always, stay positive, stay creative, support each other, in peace.